Hey friends, welcome back to Morrowind. In the previous episode, we completed the Tribunal DLC. But now we're back in Vardenfell to complete a few more things before we complete the game. We gotta meet Mike the Liar. We need to talk to Vivek. But anyway, let's get started. Beautiful. So unique. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Vivek. The blight is gone, and we have survived. Now we must dedicate ourselves to rebuilding the temple. And you must dedicate yourself to your responsibilities as protector of Morwent. Oh, I think I actually already read that. Um we got Almexia. We don't communicate without the heart and our divine powers must diminish. Okay, okay. So we've already, we read this last time, but we have a new dialogue option. I found Sotasil dead and killed Almexia. That is very sad. I presume that she killed Sotasil. I thought she might harm me. I presume she tried to kill you, Neverine. It is all very sad, but death comes to all mortals, and we are all mortal now. In time, death will come to me, Neverine. Perhaps even at your hands. It is futile to deny one's fate, but nonetheless. I'm afraid I find it all very, very sad that it should end this way. Something that began in such glory and noble promise. Alright. Crazy, man. They're all mortal, but only Vivek's the only last. So yeah, Vivek's the last Tribune. <laughs> right, so now we got to visit Maik the Liar. It should be around here. Oh, there he is. There he is. We need the gauntlet. There it is. Its scent is unfamiliar. Maik. Fishing pole. Greetings, Maik knows many things. What is your interest? You seek knowledge. Maik has much. Some of what verified by actual facts. <laughs> Mounts. You would wish to ride upon a beast. There is a way. Go to one of the many such striders ports and pay your fee. You wish one for personal use. Bah! Walk if you must. Run if you are a chased. Dragons. Dragons? Oh, they're everywhere. You must fly very high to see most of them, though. The ones near the ground are very hard to see. Being invisible. Talking mud crab. Maik has heard of this. They've got all the money. Mud crab's taking over everything. They already run Pelaglad. All right. That's my eighth liar. He has like a fourth wall break situation where he's kind of like apparently he's omnipresent. He doesn't die. So uh, kind of everywhere. How strange. Okay. All right. See Mike. See an oblivion, and Skyrim, and ESO. He lives somehow. All right. Let's go to uh, Cool, the town of Cool. All right. We're now in the city or town or camp, I guess, of cool. There's a boat awaiting for us. The town's not important. We were here in the, in the past episodes, but there's a boat to make us travel to Solstheim, the island above Skyrim and in between Morland and Vardenfell. Sphere. Boat to Solstheim <laughs> until the next one. <laughs> okay. Greetings. Are you in need of transport? Sphere will gladly take you to Fort Frostmoth in Solstheim for a small fee. Yeah, Solstheim. Fair price to travel to Fort Frostmoth.
Ooh. Bit cloudy. Whoa. Is that? Yeah, <laughs> I can see that over there. They're pretty close to one another. They're... All right, Solstein. All I ask for is a pair of boots. How ask in the sun. You can't wear boots. You're Argonian. Welcome to Sassheim, jewel of absolutely nowhere. It's a miserable place, even for the warm bloods. If you want to leave, I'd be happy to take you back to Vardenfell. If you feel you must stay, speak with Captain Phylax Carius in his chambers in Fort Frostmoth. Captain Carius is the commander here. Not a bad man, but he's a fool for remaining in this place. So cold. So cold. If you are here about the colony, Carius Magus is the man you speak to. Find him at the Imperial Cult Shrine. All right. Go cool. to the fort. Wow. Uh. Wow. That's crazy. Fort Frostmoth. Hmm. Oh. There it is. Just another of life's little disappointments. Yes, what can I do for you? I'm Captain Fox Carius, commander of Fort Frostmoth. We are an Imperial fort, obviously. My soldiers have the ability to be among the best in all the Empire. This island of Solsheim is not the easiest assignment, though. And sometimes it makes the men edgy. As I said, there's difficult posts. These soldiers are separated from their families and forced to live in harsh conditions. To be fair, most of these men were sent to this island as punishment for a past offense. They are not the best of soldiers yet. Still, until recently, they have performed their duties adequately. Lately, I have noticed some disturbing trends. Alright. Cool beans. Okay. Speak to the soldiers. Whoa, 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 hey, what, is, is that booze I smell on you? Booze. Nice like pajama to me. I know the smell anywhere. How about you give a thirsty soldier a little pick-me-up? I want that pajama though. Does it complete the quest? Hmm, take me away, sweet pajama. Thanks, friend. Just hasn't been the same around here since this became a dry fort. It's ridiculous, I tell you. That's right, no liquor at all. The loud in the Fort Frostmoth these days. Captain's orders. I guess it seemed odd coming from him. Captain Curious seemed... Like a fair enough guy, as long as we carried out our duties. Guess he figured we weren't up to the standards, so he cut us off. Since then, everyone's been in a pretty foul mood. Okay. Keep moving. <laughs> cool. Wow. It's so different. Skyrim's that way. Yes, what can this? Yes, yes, terrible thing. Don't know why you'd be asking me though. Did I mention how the shipment stopped arriving? Well, I've, I have no idea. You've been in my desk. My desk. You've been in there. Why? That's an outrage. Stolen liquor? I have no idea. All right. Perhaps I have been hiding the alcohol. It was for their own good. And. I had hoped that the soldiers got fed up and revolted. I'd be able to justify going home to my superiors. Look, I don't want any trouble from you. I'll see your secret safe with me. Thank you, thank you so much. Look, take this key. You'll find all the misplaced liquor in the closet. The troops will be happy to leave. The troops will be happy to have it again. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to talk to you. Just don't tell them what I did. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I asked you to investigate why the morale has been low in the fort. Have you heard anything? You say that the shipment had been merely been misplaced. And this is all one big miscommunication? That's ridiculous. I expected better of my men and myself. Especially of myself. Thank you for your help, Melon. Take these. There are diseases on this island we have never encountered. I would hate to see you take ill. Now though, there is more fort business to discuss. As I've told you, not all of my soldiers are here are trustworthy. Many were sent to this fort of Ebhart dungeons. Now, I fear that a criminal 
elements has shown itself at Fort Frostmoth. I believe that there are weapons being smuggled out of here and sold on Vardenfell. I've noticed the store of weapons in the armory has been decreasing. I know there is no official reason for it. My only guess is that someone is smuggling them off Solstheim to be sold on Vardenfell. I want you to uncover the smuggling ring and we'll provide you with a bit of help. Okay, cool. Done here. Wow. Be careful out here in the wild, friend. There's more roaming about than There's a bear over there. Oh no. Is that a berser a berserker? Oh my gosh. Yes, yeah, Ujama. Ooh, bear helmet. It's cool. My companion. Did I leave in the dust? I think I did. Uh, I think I did. Yep. I walked too fast. Let's head to those caverns. Ooh. Go ahead, stranger. Oh wow. Yeah, that's so sick. It looks so different. It looks like a I don't know. I'm not used to seeing these trees and the flat ground like that. Bear. Holy bush. Holy bush. That's cool. Bear? Like what? Bear pelt. These are normal enemies. Normal trees, normal everything. Cool. Solstheim. We come back here in the Dragonborn DLC of Skyrim. It's like the trees feel like look big, but like they also don't. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, like a train set. Wham. Wow, I'm destroying these enemies. Oh, snow over here. Oh, wolves. Oh, there's disease, but I'm red guard, so I actually have a good resistant to disease. Right. What? Snow. It's so weird seeing snow. Oh, this looks good. Another bear. Oh, that's the shrines. That's right. What does this island have to offer? That's gotta be it. That's actually super close. I ran around it. Somehow. <laughs> yes, there it is. Oh, sh shit. Ooh, looks like your paralysis reflected off you, buddy. It hit you instead. <laughs> no. My gear is way too good. Thanks to Tribunal. I got some of those broken stuff ever. Ocean of Visibility. Sure. Ow. Oh god, they got it. They got it. They got it. Get away from me. You're not even strong. Come on. More stamina. Oh. What do they have? Their sword of paralysis. They all have that paralysis. All of them do. Cool. Phew. All right. Oh. 
to report back to the captain. I returned to Fort Frostmont to report Captain Curious, but the fort has been attacked in my absence. Huh. Oh, what the? Someone attacked the fort while we were gone. We've got to find the captain right now. Indeed. Let's well, find who. Oh, I'm just dying to hear what you have to say, Red God. We find Sanus. Wherever they are. He's just on the bottom floor? Oh wait, is this him? Oh my gosh, it is. Thank the gods you've returned. There was a terrible battle. And Captain Curious, someone must find the captain. There was a terrible battle. We were caught completely by surprise. And in the aftermath, we realized that Captain Curious was missing. I searched thoroughly, and there was no sign of his body. So I do not believe he is dead. And my, these wolf creatures, they were horrible and fierce. You must find them, Melon. There's a Nord village on the north end of this island. They may know something about what has occurred. It's on the northeastern tip of Solstheim. These Skull are nature worshippers, and they seem to have a special communion with the island's creatures. If anyone knows what attacked the fort, it will be these Nords. I will mark their location on your map. I would like for you to earn their trust and find out what you can. You may have to remain with them for many days. But I believe you are up to the task. Here, take this. It was found on one of their tombs. Perhaps they will take it as a sign of good faith. All right. We got marked on a map too, so that's good. We've got it. That's good. Oh, yeah, it's got it got destroyed. Wow. Oh, I'm just dying to hear what you have to say. Wow. Wait, northern tip of the island. Oh, but say, hey, whoa. <laughs> Oh, over there. Okay, I see. Scout Village. Alright. We shall travel there. My companion's along with me. Holy moly, I'm one-shotting everything. Oh, give me another bear. Plague bear. Oh, there's so many animals. Oh my gosh. Another standing stone. I'm seeing what these is what these are called. Tree stone. And hearing this music, which is also in Skyrim, a little bit a little more different in Skyrim, but still like the foundation music is still the same. Some porkers from across the ice. Wow, look at that, it looks so good. We're on a different land. Whoa, whoa, that's deep. <sighs> I'd say I'm trapped. That's it. Aha! That's not it. That was good. I like that. I like the huge environmental change. Oh, what, 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 what is that? What is that? It rolled. A rickling. Quick. Ah, here we go. Oh wow, they're in a nice little poached. Oh, look at the architecture. Speak up. Nords. Is this the Great Hall? It's gotta be the Great Hall, right? It's gotta be the Great Hall. 
It's good great hall vibes. Yep. Whoa. Here's some night ice, yo. Yeah. My night goggles. Looks so good. No ah. What's your story? An honor guard. What do you want, stranger? Why are you among the skull? The skull wishing you no harm, but you will mind your manners while you are within our walls. We will make no exceptions. Now, what is this I hear about an attack on the Imperial Fort? Those soldiers, bah, they cut their trees and dig their holes and have little to show after a day's toil. They do not respect this land or its creatures, and for that, I find them offensive. But though I have no love for them, the skull would never do such a thing. We prefer to let the Imperials kill themselves slowly. But these creatures that attacked, these were not our wolves. These were not wolves of the island. Now, have you finished your business here? You say you've brought the bones of one of our ancestors? Stupid Imperials, they need to learn to leave things as they are. Still, it is good that you have returned this to the skull. Perhaps there is hope for you and your kind. You are welcome here for the moment. But there is much to atone for. The Imperials and their fort have brought nothing but harm to these lands. They cut the trees and dig the earth. They are wasteful, lazy, and careless. They have no comprehension of the oneness of the island. It is the oneness from which the Skull drive our strength, and the Imperials have defiled these lands. It is right that you do this, and it is your people who have caused the damage speak with coarsed wind eye in the shaman's hut. I give you further instructions. Raven Rock. I've heard of no such place. Done it. Okay. Oh, you're over here. We must find Captain Carriers. This place will fall to shambles without him. As I said, someone must find the captain. The Skulls say they know nothing of the attack. Interesting. I have no doubt that they were not the instigators of this horror. But I do believe they know more than they have let on to you. For now, return to them. Live among them for a time and see what you might learn. Take care with them, Melon. They live by a strict code and you will be expected to follow it while you are with them. We've got to find the captain. The fort needs him. All right. Back in the Skull Village, we gotta go speak to the shaman. It's a completely different tradition. In the Dunmer. Nice means hut. The names are different What's too. Story? That's in his hut. Shaman's hut. What's your story? Okay. Greetings to you, Wanderer. Why have you come to our village? Okay. Restore the power of the skull. Our Fang wishes for you to do this, does he? And I will assist you. There's a ritual that must be completed. On Solsheim, you will find six standing stones, each representing one of the six gifts of the All Maker. At each of these stones, a ritual must be completed. Once the ritual of the gifts is complete, the oneness should be restored. Okay, we show the gifts. It would be too much for any not of the skull to remember. Here, take this. It will explain the rituals and guide you on the way. This book may be of use to you as well. If you are to remain with the skull, you should understand our beliefs. All right, cool. Down here, we got the locations. Let's go and do these uh, these standing stones. Speak up. Location of the stones. Being followed. Then school's tomb. Ah, Draugr! Come on. Come on, Draugr in this game are scary. Is that a bone... bone dog? A DLC in, uh... Grayson Club content. In Skyrim. Draugrs! Draugai? I like my armor, at least. I have armor hammers just in case my armor breaks. 
Come on, full stamina. Come on. Bone wolf. Oh yeah. Draugr. Oh man. All these things are brought back in Skyrim. A small bag. Oh, the greedy man's bag. Oh. Release the wind. Okay. There's a whole freaking ice storm happening. A blizzard. What a swimmer though. Dude. Oh, the horka. Yeah, follow him. Which means we should probably get water walking. There we go. We follow. That's pretty cool. Wow, very icy. Very icy. Now, I'm not sure if it's gonna be underground or it's gonna be like. There he is. This feels like below zero. Not a good. <laughs> this looks. This looks good. This is awesome. I go down. Oh, that's cool. The swimmer. Oh, is that it? That's it down there. It's gotta be it. A little hidden. There's no way you would find it if you did not know about the swimmer. Because it's underwater. The ice piercing through the water. I don't know if I need to complete it while well, he's here. Journal's updated. Summer led me to an entrance to, of an underwater cave. I guess it makes sense. It's the water stone. That makes some complete sense, actually. Thank you, friend. Oh, it's in the water. Oh, cool. So this water breathing spell is necessary. That's actually really, really cool. Guys, this is sick. What a unique dungeon. Waters of life. Water breathing. Oh, that's it. Right. No, back in. To the surface. All right, on to the next dungeon. Next pillar. But first, I want to go over here. I'll stay on this ice. No, just like the ash storms for me to cover your base. And the ham sandwich. We'll do the classic, uh, wow, well, I, I have a lot of, uh, magicka. Oh, yeah. Gonna kill these spriggans, we're gonna go pick up the uh, seeds from that rickling. Bear. Okay. Is this the rickling? Strange seeds, real. Yeah. There's a bear coming. Yeah, we just gotta plant the seeds, but I'm not. 
to show how to do that. Bye. Oh, bear. I'm gonna plant the tree. Go right here. Ah, I'd like to plant the strange seeds in this fertile soil. Yes. Excellent. Here we go. I just followed the path. Halls of Penumbra. There's Draugr. Cool cave. Very icy. Where oh, they run. I don't like it. Looking for the big bad in this dungeon. There he is. Ooh, there he is. What a, what a charming fellow. Ooh. Light, light keeper, Grawl? Flaming eye, the light keeper. Sure. Turn has been updated. So I gotta use the ice or the would you like to throw the flaming eye at the ice wall? Release the light or whatever. Okay. We're out here. Alright, return back to the sunstone. Would you mind up in the moment? Cool, that one's done. I'm here to correct my mistake. I uh did this one wrong apparently. It's the last one I had to do. Left, right, middle, left. Oh, yeah. Song's complete. And we're using mark and recall, or recall in this case. All right, marked it. Bam. Excellent, eh? The water stun. All oh, bubbles. All right, back in the village. You gotta speak to the shaman. I can tell that the ritual is completed. The oneness once again flows through the land. Can you hear it in the trees? Do you feel the humming of the living land? It is a good thing you've done here, Melon. You have completed the ritual of the gifts. I am impressed with your efforts, Outlander, but there is more to be done. You have shown a certain loyalty to the skull, and it surprises me. Tradition dictates that you now hold this mace of Aviar Stonesinger. This is a treasure of the skull that I do not relish giving to an Outlander. Still, you have earned it. For now, now it is time to prove your wisdom. Though I believe your heart may be one with the skull, your mind must be as well. To that end, I would have you investigate a crime. It involves two of the Skull, and your actions may decide their fates. Engar Icemane has been accused of theft. His accuser, Rigmore Halfhand, claims that Icemane stole furs from his house. These furs were indeed found in Icemane's residence. The Skull do not take such things lightly. We have little, and each is given according to his need. This offense is punishable by exile or, or sacrifice to the wolves. Icemane will surely choose the wolves. Now, speak with the skull. Find out what you can, then report your findings to me so the guilty may be punishable appropriately. Okay. Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Engar would never do such a thing such as this. He's a man of honor, and we want for nothing. 
I cannot imagine what would drive Rigmar to make such an accusation. Perhaps he is jealous of my husband, and these charges are meant to disgrace him. Okay. Dearest Rizzi, why will you not see me? You know how I feel, and I know you feel the same about me. Please, simply consent to speak to me. Just a word, a moment with you, would ease my soul. If I cannot be with you, I will have to resort to something drastic. Please consider your feelings. Your husband is a lout away for weeks at a time, with no consideration for your needs. I have always been there for you, and I always will be. We should be together, dear Rizzi. R.H. Rigmore. Oh boy. You have found the letter, have you not? It is true that Rigmore and I had a brief affair, but that has ended. He refuses to let me go, though. I fear that he has caused this trouble just to get rid of Ingar. You must put a stop to this. My husband is a good man and does not deserve this fate. Alright. Yes? I understand yes. you are investigating Angar Ice Main's theft. You found that letter. But why would this is an outrage? I never I only wanted the woman. Why did that fool have to go choose the wolves? He could have simply left, and she and I could have been together forever. You know my crime, and I know you must tell Heartfang. Let us go to him, and I will accept my fate. Damn. Uh, let's go. Cool. Dang, he just goes along with us. Wow. What say you? What say you? You were to investigate a crime. Have you done this? So, Halfpan has invented this tale of theft over a woman by the All Maker. This will not go unpunished. By Skull tradition. Making a false accusation carries the same penalty as the crime that is claimed. In this case, either exile or death by sacrifice to the wolves. The verdict is yours. Halfhand must be exiled permanently from the skull, or he must be fed to the ceremonial wolves. Which do you choose? A choice in the game I didn't see coming. <laughs> uh, I'll choose exile. Then he shall be exiled. Halfhand may never again return to the skull village. And he shall be dead to the skull forever. It is cruel choice you have made, Melon. But perhaps it is wise. Here, accept this token. It is unlikely, but perhaps you too can be more like the wolves we revere. I mean, I feel like, you know, he can have a second chance in another, you know, another province. He can explore Tamriel. I, mean, I feel like, you know, dying of wolves, and I don't, I don't know, that sounds pretty terrible. So I don't really agree with their traditions. All right. You have done well, Melon. You have shown your loyalty and wisdom. But there is one thing further I will require of you. Now you must prove your strength as a warrior. I wish for you to travel to Lake Falden. I will mark it on your map. Seek out Course Wind Eye, who has traveled there already. He will give you further instructions. Look for him on the northern shore of the lake. Alright. We're done here. I have nothing to say. Yo, that's kinda crazy. Is it supposed to be fire? Or something else? Oh my gosh! Oh. My goodness. Alright. I walked past him. <laughs> that is. Ah, you've arrived. These are strange times, my friend. I'm unsure what magic is being worked to cause such a disturbance on the lake. But you were sent here to prove your strength. Heartfang has sent you here to show your strength, your ability to survive in the harshest of conditions. Beneath that lake, there are a series of ice caves. In one of those caves, you will find Eslip, a dragger lord. Heartfang believes he is one responsible. Fire from water, flame through ice. Strange indeed. Heartfang believes that a dragger lord who lives beneath the lake is the source of this. But I am not certain. I fear that this could be a sign of the Blood Moon prophecy. Though I pray to the Allmaker that this is not so. It is an ancient prophecy. One that I hope is but a myth. It tells of a time when the moon above will turn blood red. 
and the wolves that walk like men will walk the land. The prophecy tells of other signs that precede the blood moon, but they are not all easily interpreted. Let us speak about this at another time. For now, you are to prove your strength. Okay. We shall go. Nice caves. Now, do I enter through there? Or some other means? Oh, right here. Oh my gosh. More dragger. Bone wolf. Bone wolf. Oh, we need to get some night eye going. Some night goggles. And we'll have hearth heal. There we go. You are brave or foolish to enter this place, Red God. But I sense a bit of wisdom in you, perhaps. I might kill you where you stand, where you try, were you to try and keep me from my task. But there are more dangerous things in these caves than this poor soul. I have been in this cave for many centuries. The Draugr you met in this place are not my kin. Mindless creatures, driven only by desire of living flesh. My story is quite different. I was once a mage of the people who call themselves the Skull. I was a very powerful mortal. Powerful beyond their reckoning. But I strayed. I delved into the black arts. Became learned in the ways of necromancy. When this was discovered, I was cast out by my people. Alone, I wandered to this place. Well, shit, as I just banished and exiled one, uh, oh man, that's... I continued to learn what I could of the ways of the living flesh and the energies that animate. I became a summoner. I communicated with the Daedra. It was then I learned of their machinations, their plans to destroy my people. A group of Frost Daedra had taken up residence deep in the bowels of this island. I thought at first that it was my doing, that I had somehow summoned these fiends. But they were beyond my abilities. I learned that they were to wipe out this island clean of life, slaughter my people, and all I held dear. I knew I must act. I tried to warn my people, but I was an empty voice to them, as though if I were dead. So I used my magic to erect a barrier deep in this ice, strong enough to contain the Daedra and keep them from overrunning the island. The barrier held for years. I maintained it, but I grew old. I knew that my death would have mean the death of all life on Solstheim. Let's destroy these creatures together. Let's cleanse the land. This is wise. I will lower the barrier that keeps the demons at bay. You and I will be victorious as the lives of those are, or if we are not. Okay. Wow. This is the barrier right here. You gotta open the barrier, brother. Oh, there, there you go. Dang, he was a member of the Skull at some point. That's crazy. That's crazy. Ah, uh, yes. Frost Edra. Very chilly. He's a mage. That's cool. It is done. My time is over. You have done a service here today, both to me and to the people of this island. Now I may rest. Before I go, take this. May you have the strength to continue your own journey. And we got the ring too. Oh. Got the ring. Let's go. And we got the ring as well. You were sent to kill a powerful drug and prove your strength to the skull. So he is defeated. It seems there was more to that creature than any of us had imagined. You have done well, Melon. I, for one, am proud to call you Skull. Return now to the Skull Village. I will meet you there in a while. 
There are matters I must attend to. Ready? Okay. Back to the captain. I can't help you. Got healed elsewhere. You continue to surprise me, Melon. I have matters to attend to now. We will speak again to you soon. That I promise you. Please, you must help. The village is under attack by werewolves outside quickly. So that sound is? Oh my gosh. Oh shit. Oh goodness. I'm almost dead. Oh my gosh. Okay. Werewolves. A bit shorter than I imagine. Uh, poop. Oh, there's so many. Oh, it's so loud. Oh, right, here we go. Got one of them. Damn, these are tough, man. These are tough. Did they kill the captain? I think they might have done it. Oh, it was gone. Oh. Yeah, I don't see that captain anywhere. Werewolves, huh? Hmm. By these werewolves. Oh. I've only just arrived. And to this horror, it is good you were here to protect these people. You have done well by the skull. My worst fears have been realized, Melon. These creatures are werewolves. As you surely know, this is not a good omen for our village. And I have more troubling news. I have used my magic to detect any of the infection these beasts leave in their wake. You, my friend, have been infected. The infection seems innocent enough. Some weaknesses, perhaps. Sometimes the effects are hardly noticeable. However, in three days' time, the victim will become a werewolf himself. It is a fate I would not wish upon my greatest foe. During these three days, though, a simple cure disease spell can stop the infection. I beg you to do this. Until then, I fear I cannot allow you to be a part of our community, perhaps infecting others. When you have been cured, I hope you will be returned to us again. Okay. I guess I have it by story reasons, because I didn't say I have it. I didn't say I have a... I didn't get the quest. Hello again, friend. What may I do for you? Oh! So, I just... I don't have it. That's why, uh, in the bottom right, I don't have it there. So, because I'm Redguard. I have 100% of common, but then I have a 75% to not get a disease. So, here we are. So, why well, do I don't have to do that? Ah, uh, I no longer sense the infection in you. I'm happy for you, and for the Skull as well. You have proven to be a valuable member of this community. You've been true to our people. And the Skull name you Blood Skull, a blood friend to our people. You will be given a home here, Rigmore's Halfhand's former residence, in which you may rest. Also, it has been decided that you will take part in the Rustag, an important Skull ceremony. I found him. The directions were so off. Stay with Long Two, Blood Skull. Greetings, Blood Skull. Oh. Has told me much about you. Greetings, Melon. Coarse Wind Eye has told me much about you. You are to perform the Ristag with us, pleasing the Allmaker. In the Ristag, we hunt the spirit bear that is conjured by the totem claw and fang. When it is slain, it will return its heart back to the Windai, who will ask for the blessings of the Allmaker. If the Ristag fails or does not succeed by daybreak, the Allmaker will be displeased. He will help ensure our success, friend. Alright, do it. Oh, shit. Help, guys, help! Okay. 
Oh, the blizzard's, blizzard's gone. I just follow him. Oh! Do you hear that? It came from Satir. The bold path. Go to him, Melon, and make sure he is well. Then return to me so we can complete the hunt. Oh. Yeah, she died. Okay. Satir is dead. That's a bad omen. These creatures are dark spirits indeed, and they will try to disrupt the hunt. We will not allow this to happen. The loss of Satir is great, but we must continue. Let us go. Okay. What was that? Blast! These creatures are everywhere. Quick! Find Grid, ex-wife. Do not allow the hunt to be disrupted. I'll wait for your return. So, here. Axe wife is dead? No, she was a good warrior and a good friend. But not let to stop us, though. We too will continue until the rest egg is complete. Alright, that was about the hardest thing ever. Um, keeping him alive. Oh, there's a snow bear. The spirit bear. Part of the spirit bear. Oh. I got it. You have the heart. This is good. Return now to the village and give the heart to Windai. You have done well tonight, Melon. Long Tooth calls you friend. I will remain here in these woods for a time. The Allmaker has chosen you to finish their journey alone. Good luck to you. Alright, back to the village. Nope, oh, passed him. You were to assist in performing the wrist tag. Have you been successful? You have the heart. You've done well. As the skull have come to expect of you, your efforts are not unappreciated. Allow me to teach you more of the skull magic. The ritual I teach you now will allow you to summon a bear to your side to aid you in battle. You have earned this blood skull. I fear we must speak more of the ominous signs that have been appeared on this island. There have been many. Though I've been reluctant to speak of them. The coming of the werewolves. The fire on the lake. And now I've been told that the northern shores are the scene of a massacre. Many horkers are dead. The shores are littered with corpses. And the death of the horkers has not been explained. All these things are suggested in the Blood Moon Prophecy. There's a castle made of ice on the northwest part of Solstheim. There lives the frost giant Karstag. The Skull have lived in peace with the monster for many years. We have had heard nothing from the giant for some time. This slaughter could be the workings of the Ricklings who served them. Go there and find out what you can. You will not be allowed in the main entrance, but we have recently discovered an entrance in the waters north of the castle. Good luck to you, let's go. The Blood Moon Prophecy is an ancient Skull legend that tells of the time before time. When a demon god would walk the land, it is told there are signs that precede the Blood Moon, and I fear that we have been witness to some of these signs. Perhaps we will speak more about this later, but I hope we will never have to. First, I'd like you to investigate the death of the Horkers. The right. restog is complete. Oh, restock. Right, let's go with that castle. Let's do it. All right. We're on the top end of the island. Still being followed. Oh yeah. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Oh. Dang, these things, these things hit hard. He's right, the front door ain't gonna work.
Oh, here it is. Caverns of Karstag. Here, yeah, back here. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, a dock. Oh, wow, this is cool. Wow. That's quite the place, actually. This is store health. Yeah, that's where we turn back. Alrighty, we're back in the village. Yeah, deliver the news. Have you learned more about the death of the Hawkers yet? Or the involvement of Karstag and his wrinkling minions? I feared as much. Even those creatures could not have caused such carnage. This is a bad sign, Melon. And I fear we must not yet see the worse. Take this. From what I hear of those Grawl, is a vulnerable aid to you. Perhaps it will keep you safe during the troubled times ahead. Now I fear we must speak more about the Blood Moon prophecy. It is time we spoke of this. The legend tells of a time that occurs once in each era. When a demon god will walk the land in the, in the company of his hounds, creatures of terrible might. He is the hunter, and his coming is preceded by three signs. I had prayed that I had misread these signs, misunderstood the prophecy, but I am sure it is not so. The first tells of fire from the Eye of Glass. This we have seen on Lake Falden, though I had hoped it was the mere magic of a dragger lord. Next, the prophecy tells us of the tide of woe. Even now, our shores are lined with corpses of horkers, dead for a reason we cannot fathom. Finally, a prophecy tells us of the blood moon, when the young moon itself turns red, with the blood of the hunter's prey. Look to the skies, blood skull. The third sign is upon us. Now we wait for the hunter's game. All right. The restog is complete. Praise be to the all maker. Right, we shall rest. The blood moon. Be visible. And we're waiting at night. Oh, there's the blood moon. That's sick. Alright, we just saw the blood moon. Now. In the last quest. And we'll do Raven Rock, the little settlement building like quest line after. When we establish and take care of the threat on Soul Sign. So we need to rest somewhere. And then the, the Daedric Prince, her scene, will contact us. This is our house, too. We have a home now. A player home. That's not Kaisis. I mean, the bed. Oh. That's so loud. Her scene. You have arrived. The others have been here for days now, and you are the last. It is time for my hunt, and you are to take part. I have chosen only the most worthy to take part in the hunt. Carius of the Imperials, Heartfang of the Skull, the Frost Giant Karstab, and you. You have proven yourself a worthy hunter. And so, you have been given this honor. You and the others are to find your way to my hunting grounds. Take great care, as only one of you will earn the glory of facing the hunter himself in battle while the blood moon lights the sky. The others have gone ahead, so only you remain to begin. Beware, mortal. My hounds are about and they hunger for blood. Perhaps I will see you soon. Now go. Okay, that was her scene. I think that's how you pronounce his name. 
outer ring. Oh, Captain Fox Curious. Oh, Melon, it is you. I'm sorry, you two have been brought to play in this nefarious game. Since the werewolves captured me at the fort, I have been held here by this demon, Hercene. Soon, others join me. One of the Nords named Hartfang, along with the beast named Karstag. I believe the only hope for escape is to find our way through this maze. Let's go together. I'm glad for your companionship. Together we will fight our way through these demon hordes and escape this evil prison. There is a door in the center of this maze, but we will need a key to enter. Let's go find this key and leave this place. Alright. This will be tough too. I still can't rest. <clears throat> All right. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's back with us. Check your corners. There might be one more. I'm not, I think I missed one or two. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Huh. Oh. All right. Oh. Wait, my friend. I can go no further. This contest can only have one victor, and you will have to be the one. Perhaps if you are able to escape, I will find my way out in time. I will guard this gate, and make sure none of these beasts follow you through. Take care if you encounter the others. Karstag is a wild creature, and will certainly try to kill you. Heart fame worries me. There is something wild in his eyes that I do not trust. Good luck, Melon. Aha! A glowing key. Excellent. It's showtime. Oh. It's you, Melon. How'd you get to this place? We have little time. I fear the frost giant Karstag has gone ahead. Even now. I fear he may win this battle before me. Perhaps together we can fight through this place. It would take him along, but he's gonna die, so. Ah. Uh, last one. Come on. This is like the- I gotta do the big hits. It's more like every single time. Okay. That should be the last one. I missed one around the corner. They hide! Sometimes they sit there sometimes. You can't hear them until they move. Where's the boy? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh! It's as far as we can go, Melon. I have the key to reach the next stage of the Hunter's Challenge. And only I shall continue. This hunt is for Heart Fang and Heart Fang alone. Many generations have lived now. Hercene's ring on my finger. This hunt is my birthright. Heart Fang alone shall face the hunter. Heart Fang alone shall earn the glory of the hunt. See now the power I was born to wield. You now face Heart Ring and truest form. The form he was born to wear. Oh! Oh, he was a werewolf. That makes sense. Oh, he doesn't hurt as much as the other ones. The other ones like two tap you. What? Richard breath with his last break when it appears in his finger and he found a new owner. And eh. I'm still wearing pretty good. Oh, I forgot my face cam was off. That's all. Whoa. Quite the place you guys here. Oh, my goodness. Hello. Good to see you. Whack. Whack. No stamina. Whack. No, oh, car stay. No, back. It's a while ago. Oh. So you are the one. You have escaped my hounds and beaten back the other challengers. I had rather expected the giant to prevail, but no matter. You have proven yourself a worthy hunter, and you have earned the greatest honor that can be bestowed upon a mortal. You are 
Choose Guile. So you have chosen, and so shall be your fate. To face me in all my glory would be less than sporting. So you shall face but one of my aspects, the one you have chosen. We have little time. The blood moon sinks low in the sky. Prepare yourself, mortal, for now you are the hunted. Okay, okay, okay. Reflected it. Uh, okay. Yeah, we did the heavy hits, just like the, the wolves before. The werewolves before. We'll defeat another god if we have to. Oh, reflected. Bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> whack. He missed. Hit me first. Oh. Spear of the Hunter. I the key. Did we just kill Hersey? We just killed a Daedric Prince. Oh. Hmm. That's pretty crazy, I'm just saying. Let's take this gate. A mystical gate. Let's return back to the fort and Skull Village. We have returned victoriously. Is at an end. Of course. The creatures have gone, and the lands are whole. Surely the All Maker is pleased. The Blood Moon prophecy is no more, and the Skull live on. The time of Tharsten Heartfang is past, but the Skull will remember him. As a once great warrior who has fallen. All right. Got a quest log. Wow, that's it. We can do Raven Rock now. The crisis of the Blood Moon prophecy is no more. It is safe once more on the island of Sauce Time. All right. We're back at the fort. Beautiful. Here we are. So much has happened. All right. That looks that's so cool, that map. Why have I done this before? See, this would be something useful like you know, like for arena or daggerfall. Be super super good. So you're the escort. Well fine, let me know when you're ready to go. Gaiman, Zeminus and I need to get to the site so we can start work. Can we leave or do you need more time? Ready to go. Lead on. Is this Raven Rock? 
Oh, I guess it could be it. Oh, I guess it really could. The bay area right here. It can. I don't know if I'm close. Oh. Well, we've made it here one piece. Thanks for the escort, Melon. Perhaps we'll run into each other again. Fucko. So, Carnius talked to you and joined this little venture, did he? Very well. I'll be managing the site from here. Answering only to Carnius. Since you're here, I have an assignment for you. Carnius sent you to me for more instructions. Yes. Well, you can finish the task I was working on before you got here. Now that some of the workers have arrived, I need you to stay here and supervise. Here, take this ebony ore and find four more pieces like it. Carnius needs some proof for our investors that this venture is worth it, and the orb should do nicely. Raven Rock. It has the potential to be something great, Melon, both for the Empire and for us. Let's try and see that it lives up to its potential. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna grab some more ebony. Right here, actually. Why couldn't, why couldn't he just get it? Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. It's just chilling. On our way back. Oh, you can already see buildings being built. What? That's quick. Are we going to see the whole progression of Raven Rock be built? Damn it. The village is already coming along. Oh, this going to look awesome. This is the mine. Ooh. Oh, it's sick. All right, guys. Raven Rock is improving ever so slightly. But this will be the end for me. We have completed Blood Moon DLC, but this is one small village that will be improved over the years to come. The next time we see it is going to be in Dragonborn DLC and Skyrim. And here it is right here. But alright guys, this will conclude this series of The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. We did a lot. And we completed all, all the expansions and we beat the main quest of the game as long as some side quests and daydream quests in between. But we're finished. Right where the game began. Here we are. Sedanin. Where the story once began. As we were a outlander. Sent here by the Emperor. And turns out, we were the New Everine. Prophecy completed. But, I'll see you all then, guys. Thank you for watching. And if you stuck all the way to the end of the series, I have to thank you, thank you, thank you. You are super supportive, and I see the watch hours, I see the likes, I see it all. And anyway, we'll be streaming Oblivion tomorrow. We're jumping right back into the Elder Scrolls universe right after this. So, guys, I'll thank y'all. Thanks for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next series of the Elder Scrolls. Thank you.